Hey everybody, Awesome Edgy here, and today we're going to have another Minecraft server update video. So, as you can probably tell, today we are starting over at Baka's place, uh, primarily because I want to be able to swing over to Aztec's place next, which is granted two kilometers away. Uh, but I've got a couple of things I'm going to cover with you guys uh, during the trip. So I'm a little unsure what these little brick walls are. I'll tell you what, let's go check on her book that she normally leaves and see what she says. Seriously? Flattened the yard, created a tree farm, started on the surrounding wall around the base. Hit a ravine in my quarry, I think. Well, let's go check it out. Obviously, I think this was here last time, but this stuff wasn't. So obviously she's needing much more wood than previously, which is awesome. And this must be the surrounding outer wall around the base. So I guess she's going to build like a little wall around her, her house, which is going to be awesome. Little spawner still there. Flattened out this area. And she said she hit a quarry, uh, a quarry, a ravine in her quarry. Oh, look at that. She most certainly did. Um. Ignore that I'm doing this. I'll fix it. <laughs> I'm too... Oh, wait. Oh, wow, that was horribly unnecessary. Sorry about that. I was just kidding. Alright. Yes, this is most definitely a ravine. Which is awesome. Got all this exposed ore. Whoosh. And there is a very angry guy. What's up, guy? Why are you so mad? Tell me all about it. All right, then. So, that seems to be about all Baka has done recently. All her mining stuff. Making some progress. She was off of the server for a while, apparently because she had lost the, uh, the server's IP address, and I wasn't aware about it. So, she's been off for a while just because of that. I finally got a contact uh, message from her, and she was like, hey, what's the IP again? I was like, oh, crap. So, in that case, <clears throat> we're going to head off towards uh, Aztec's second location, because there have been some updates out there. A couple of things I wanted to cover with you guys along the way. Um, I've gotten back in contact with Tricky in case y'all didn't see my previous Minecraft video, which wasn't a server update video. Um, I got in contact with Tricky and Kippa finally and figured out where they've been, and apparently they're opening up a, uh, well, they already have now, they opened up a uh, uh, internet slash gaming cafe in the city where they live, well, town, really. Um, so that's pretty cool. They've got their own business going now. Uh, but, uh, Tricky said now that they're open, it's going to take less of his free time. So he should be back on the server. Uh, he said he wanted to go back to the spawn point and finish the bazaar like he had talked about. Um, and then we're going to start on a project, which is going to be out past the public quarry. And I'm going to go show you the building site for that. Who am I near? I'm near uh, Neverlast's place. Why is there a, a thing here? Hmm. Weird. You didn't pick up after yourself, so your stuff's all broke. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to build a project out there, and then he's going to look into trying to figure out how to... Uh, how to get a server running with a, a server height of a thousand 
He's going to see if he can't figure something out as far as that's concerned. Uh, and then I'll start working on my my enormous creative build. Um, I don't know if I'm going to save this world and, and, and keep in mind, I would save the backup of this world and then delete it, build the Thousand High server here so that everybody that's already on the server can help out with it. Um, or if I'll try to get like a second server somehow and build it on there, we'll, I'll figure that out. Um, really the biggest hurdle right now is getting over that thousand limit or the, what, the 256 limit right now. <laughs> but the, um, uh, the server build that's going to be out past the public quarry out that way, uh, that's going to have to wait until 1.5 because I want to build it out of, uh, the nether quartz. So we're going to get that. By the way, when 1.5 hits, I'm going to be resetting our nether. So all of the buildings that are in there are going to disappear and it's going to regenerate the land so that we can get the nether quartz without having to travel long distances in the, uh, in the nether. I figured that would be convenient. So last time I was out here at Aztec's second location, there's a boat. Um, he notified me that I missed a couple of things. So I'm going to come out here and check for them, as well as any other update he may have. Looks like he's added some more furnaces, so that's something. And he's cooking right now. Hmm. He's been on recently. What time zone are you in, Aztec? Because I don't see you online a lot, but you get a lot done. So, anyway... This building appears to be the same. Let's see if he's added a sofa. Nope. <laughs> okay. Touche. Oh, I deserved that one. So I just saw this building, which I didn't see last time, and then he told me that there's a... Oh, there it is. In preparation for the redstone update, it was decided that building a bunker was probably a wise move. Mine carts filled with TNT that go nuclear or no laughing matter and are to be handled with extreme caution. So we've got a bunch of obsidian walls and iron door. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, you're not kidding. This is awesome little rooms for everybody to hang out in when you want some privacy. Dude, this is freaking sweet. Although I think the roof of this, it would be difficult, but I think the roof should probably... Wait, hold on, where are we? Let me do this real quick. Okay. I want to see how far... This is at 61 depth. I want to see how deep this is. Like, did we go under a mountain? Because if it's only like too deep, I'm going to be like, dude, you need to like put some obsidian on the roof or something. And it's not too deep. Well, it's about 10 deep. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's get rid of that. that. Okay. What's this say? New stuff that way. Okay. Yeah. I figured it out. Pick it to the man. Specializing in uh, I guess that's iron, gold, coal, I think. I know AU is gold, but I couldn't remember what, assuming coal was stuck in there, what uh, FE or C was. Why would C be coal? I don't think that is a element. Carbon, maybe? That would make more sense. Anyway, what's he got hidden down here?
Oh. Oh, you're strip mining. Well, at least he's strip mining away from everybody. That's cool. Well, it's not really a strip mine either. It's just a straight line. Hello. That must have been fun. <laughs> Tunneling into lava like that. Ooh. Would you look at this? Someone found himself a neat little ravine thing. Ravine thing? I don't know. Sometimes I wish these ravines could be bigger than this. They all seem to be about this size. There's a lot of gold up there. Man, you got lucky with that straight line shot you did there. Alright, so let's head on out of here. And we'll head over to Cockles' place. See what kind of updates he's got there. I don't know if he's actually done anything. I poked my head in and it looked like there were a couple of changes. And then when I tweeted earlier and said, let me know if I can skip your place. He said, yeah, skip mine. I didn't do anything. And I was like, uh, yeah, you did, actually. Uh, hold on. Oops. Time set zero. There we go. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I was trying to figure out how to use the time set command to make it nighttime as well. Those numbers are... Are those seconds in a day? Or what are those? Because I was like, do I have to go to 14,000 just to get nighttime? It wasn't hours of a clock. I thought that's what it was initially. I don't know. Also, just as we're heading over here to Cuckles' spot... I uh, wanted to let you guys know that I'm currently working on the update to my texture pack for 1.5. Uh, they've completely changed the way texture packs work. Um, apparently, by the way, for those of you who are interested, that is Cuckles' triple spider spawner that we covered in an early video. Um, all the textures have like individual files now instead of just one giant file. So that's going to take, not really going to be hard, but it's going to be time consuming. So I'm going to have to copy and paste them over. But uh, it should be relatively straightforward. If you use my texture pack, I'll let you know when the 1.5 texture pack is available, which should be like right after release. Uh, and let me know if there are any mistakes on it, because um, I don't always catch them. So, apparently... I may just have a terrible memory, but I don't remember this dog kennel. Oh, they've got water. You, you shouldn't be sitting in your water bowl, by the way, bro. Hey. Oops. Sorry. You can have that back. Uh, so let's go see what he's got in here. Hey, I made it in. Dyed leather boots and a wither skeleton skell. Skell? Skull. So I guess we can fight the wither skeleton. Or the wither king. I think we just need one of these, right? No, we need... You need three of those. Anyway. Oh, it's just this. I remember that. I know I, I, know I went through that really quick, but... I have a full layout of that in... Uh, one of the other videos. So I think that's about all that he's done was the dog kennel. Ah. One stack of gunpowder for two diamonds. I have some gunpowder and I would like diamonds, so I'll take you up on that. Hmm. I'll bring you some of my gunpowder. I'm assuming for one stack of gunpowder for two diamonds, you're you would also accept 32 gunpowder for one diamond. That would make sense. This all... The rest of this stuff all looks pretty much the same. Enjoying the rain. I like enjoying the rain as well. I'm a big fan of rain. Never rains enough. 
where I live. Wish it would rain more. Anyway, <laughs> over at my place, uh, I have been doing a lot of work. Unfortunately, it's all on my hidden project, and I don't want to show that off until it's done. Um, I need somebody to help me out with it, like on a Skype call. I might be able to do it myself, but it'd be a whole lot faster if I can get one of the other builders on the server to get on a, a Skype or event chat. What do they call it? Mumble. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeroon is back. Ha ha ha! Good timing. Um, he's back on the server. He's way, way out there, like past, uh, past Red Beef. But, uh, he didn't want to show off his place yet. Oh, I don't think I showed. I, I put on my own nether portal out here. Um, also when 1.5 starts, I'm going to go around and the nether portal I'm going to go through first is going to be the one in the spawn point. That way the central exit would be at the spawn. And if you're more than a thousand from the spawn, you should be able to have your own portal. Unfortunately, I am not. Uh, but I think White Ace might be way out there. He might be a thousand from spawn, so he'd be able to get his own portal. So, uh, I don't really have anything to show at my place. I mainly left my marker on for uh, the reference. <laughs> Here, for, for those of you who are on the server, give you a rough idea of where your rune is at. So, from my front door, he's almost 2,000 kilometers that way. 2,000 kilometers, Jesus. It's pretty obvious I don't use the uh, metric system frequently, huh? 2,000 meters, whatever. So, and for those of you who are interested in knowing where our server build is going to be, you follow out the sky bridge from my place towards the public quarry. I think I showed Tricky where this is, but I'm not sure. I showed somebody. Oh, I showed Nap, so he knows where it is. So you come out here, and you'll reach the public quarry where it kind of tees off and goes left and right. You hang it right. So let's get out there real quick. That will just take us a second. And I'm going to need to reset my time here in a second. Time set. Uh, what did I do? 14,000? Oops. Oh well. We're going to see it because it's raining anyway. It's dark enough. I don't think Nick has been on either. The quarry looks like it's basically in the same spot. So then when you hang a right here, this ends relatively quickly at a village. Ta-da! So I've, I've fixed some of the gravel pathways at the village uh, just so that they made a little more sense, connect them around and stuff like that. And then I left this one here because if you come out this way, <laughs> there we go. You'll see these torches here. And if I come high enough, I might be able to get all four sets of torches in at the same time. Come on, spawn in, world. There's the outer sets. It's a relatively flat area. This is the, the biggest, flattest area I could find. There, and there's the final set spawning in now, straight ahead. Come on. You can do it. Okay. So the this basic shape, it's going to be squarish oval when it's done. That's the outer wall of the entire building. So that's the size of the building. We're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. Not a whole lot because most of it's just one or two blocks up, and I think that's fine. Um, but we're going to have to fill in this water section over here and some of these little ponds. Uh, and we might have to flatten out a couple of parts, like there's a hill here and there's a bigger hill here, uh, fill in some of that, or, or at least cover it up. Um, but that's going to be a building, so 
that's going to be made out of quartz, I hope. Uh, and it's going to be about 50 high. So, what's ground level right now? 67. So if I go up to about 120, give or take. Right about here. This is going to be the top of the outer wall. So you can see how high that's going to be. And you're going to be able to get up to this area normally without having to fly or anything once the building is complete. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, we're going to need some of the more advanced redstone features to open doors and, and cages and stuff like that. But uh, once I get the 1.5 update and we know that the quartz is working right, then I'll announce what we're going to be building here. And then periodically we'll have updates as to how this is going. But I expect this to take a while. Um, at least a couple of weeks because it's going to be built on legit. we got to go find enough quartz to build this. Uh, so there's going to be some nick. There's going to be quarrying in the nether. And I'll, I'll basically be a quarry guy. Because I know I'm, I'm not going to trick like lie to myself. I know Tricky's going to build the majority of this. Uh, I'm sure Nap will help a lot as well. But anyway, that's about it for the update today. So let me know if you know any way to get the server to run at a thousand or higher. But uh, uh, everybody previously, they had good ideas, but all of the ideas were old. Uh, there's apparently a mod that does work, but it only works with uh, version 1.0 after release so yeah it doesn't really help me because for the build that I want to build that's a thousand high I need all the advanced blocks and I need the I need the stairs to be able to go upside down and things like that so anyway uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week hopefully with more build information because I think I think 1.5 is going to come out here real quick so uh just again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.